Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Rosalinda. Hello. I hope that you guys are having a wonderful beautiful day whenever it is that you are watching it. Thank you so much for coming back and if you are new here, welcome. Okay, so as you can tell by the title of this video, oh, drop some confetti, girl make some noise because we are moving. We are moving, we are moving, we, we, we are moving. This is the most excited I've ever been and also the most excited I've been throughout this whole process today. Today, I feel like I feel better about it. We'll get into it, but that is the exciting thing about this video. You already read it down below. We are officially moving, Wichito and me, Wichito and I, we are moving into a little one bedroom apartment is in a back house. A good thing that it's also close by um, like where we are. So that's also gonna be super helpful with the whole moving process because I never really like move like that. Like when I moved from my mom's house, when I moved out of my mom's at 18 and I moved in with Raul, we moved into a small room as well. And with, I was a teenager, fresh out of high school. I had nothing but my clothes, girl. So that was easy. And then when we moved to my in-laws, we had maybe accumulated like cajones and like a TV and stuff like that. So it still wasn't like that bad. I think we just drove like his car with his stuff and my car with my stuff. And that was basically it. But this time we have a lot more stuff. You guys already know we've been there for 10 years. So it's, we have accumulated things over the years as well. We've grown as a family and I've made it my own little place in there. So I have like a little kitchen area. I have a table, I have a desk, our bed, our closet. So there's way more things. However, it's still just one room that we're moving. So that's gonna be super, I think it's gonna be easier just because we're not moving a whole house. So we don't need to get like a U-Haul or anything like that. So that's gonna be super helpful and I'm excited that um, we just won't have to take too many trips. Look, I love the fact of moving, like moving to another place. The whole process though overwhelms me. Like the fact that there's like a million things to do and a whole list this long, that overwhelms me. I don't like to be overwhelmed like that. Porque luego no sé dónde empezar, and then I feel like I don't give it my all and everything. I don't know, that's just a thing. I've been noticing that at work too. But um, yeah, so it's still gonna be good for us. Like if the movie is not um, going to affect our everyday life, like our work um, and like families, like they're still all gonna be relatively close, which we're excited for that we don't have to like commute now or like that we're gonna be far away from our family like that's gonna be good so that's also I think maybe because um why this move doesn't feel like too terrible like it doesn't feel like we're starting by ourselves or from scratch or we have a lot of things to do because it's not like a big huge move it's just like we're moving our whole lives and our relationship into our own little space Space that we're gonna have just me with Chido and the dogs that that part that's what I'm super super excited and like so happy beyond happy for it I have been a little overwhelmed and a little stressed out so and on the top of that I've been on my period for like god knows how long I feel like I've had my period for like two weeks already so I've had a lot of like emotions but like not relatively like good emotions it's just been like very I just been sad but I haven't really like taken it in, but I feel like today I am finally at a good place. And then just talking to you guys just makes me feel like so much, so much, so much better and telling you guys my news because you guys know that I love our little community here and I love to, to share this news with you guys. So yes, there it is. So, there you go, there's our news. There you go besties, now we're all, we all can celebrate together. I'm glad that we finally said it. So that's why I also been super busy with uh, like everything with work trying to move and all that stuff so i've been like mia a little bit hope that you guys stuck around it's gonna be fun so i plan to do this so this one's kind of like we're moving and kind of pack a little bit with me and then we'll do an empty um 
empty apartment tour as well whenever that is ready we're shooting to move next week i know it's weird in the middle of the month but this is how it's working out and it's fine and it's better for us because again we both work we've been working a lot and like raul works you know his set job and i've been picking up hours so it's been kind of hard to have like full days. Today's my only day off that I've had like in a, like a long time. <laughs> like that I'm actually not doing anything, that I don't have any like compromisos ni nada, that it's like literally just me. So um, I'm gonna get a lot of things done today. Even like pack things and just have them in the corner. Or if I need to do that, that that's what I'm going to do. And that's what I want to start doing because what I, what I was thinking to make it a little bit easier for us is that you know, like a harness with all our clothes. Like, I'm just gonna leave the clothes in there. Like, we're just gonna take, we're basically taking everything we have. Good thing that like about a month ago, I did a deep like decluttering and I got rid of a lot of stuff, like a lot of my clothes. I got rid of like stuff that I just wasn't using. So everything that we have so far in the room we need and we are constantly using it so that helps because i don't have to be like declaring as i'm moving so i'm just taking everything and so that's what i'm gonna do anything anything that's already made we're gonna take it the cajones that are already made we're just gonna take them like that and then just leave all the stuff in there so our dressers um the bed obviously we just have like a little thing in the bottom um that uh, well i think that one folds the table, we're not gonna take it apart. We're not gonna take apart the desk either. Like stuff that we don't need to take apart, we're just gonna take it like that. You know my big cubicle thing that I have with all the cubes from Ikea? I wanna get rid of that. So um, I think that I might get rid of that, but not like till after the move because now, um, because I told you guys that I use that as like a storage. So I think now all those things are gonna have a space. So I might not need that thing anymore. So let's cross our fingers porque ya no la quiero, to be honest. Like I just feel like I've used it for its purpose, but now over here where I have space for almost everything, it's just gonna be better. So we might get rid of that, but not like till after two, until we see if we could really get rid of it. So we're gonna do that, that to make it more simple. And then of course my clothes and my shoes, I'm just gonna throw those in a box, just keep some things. And I think I can also start putting away like kitchen stuff and just leave like the basics that I use for, again, we're shooting for like Monday of next week. So just for like the next three days, just leave some stuff and we can pack the rest and then just have it ready. So then on Monday, we can just move everything. Cause Monday would be like a day we're just gonna move everything, everything, everything. So that's, that's what I'm shooting for. And of course, since I have a more of a flexible schedule or I have more time where like, I, I spend more time at the house, Raul gets home like pretty late. So I'm gonna do a lot of that and then Raul would just be in charge of moving the heavy things, but I'll have everything like ready for him. I'll make the, the moving and like transporting things easy as possible by having everything ready for him. And then he could just, you know, do all the heavy lifting as you say. So, so I think that's it. That's it with like catching you guys up on moving and what I am planning to do with the whole moving situation. Again, I'm not that overwhelmed anymore. I don't know, I feel like these things you always get kind of overwhelmed, but then those that overwhelming kind of fades away and then you get happy. I feel like that's how I was. I was very like, Porque les estaba contando Stacy Kim and then Stacy Kim, thank you so much. She's been helping me so much. Like I was telling her, she's like, "Are oh, you not excited?" And I'm like, "I am, but I don't feel it right now." And I think just because there's a lot of things to do, but I feel like now I am in a good place, and then my period is like ending, so I feel like my good, happy emotions are coming back. Hello. Okay, welcome back to another day. I know. The other day I left you guys just hanging after talking to you and giving you the big news, but you know, I had to do other things. But now I'm getting ready to, I already kind of started packing. So I figured that I was gonna do this corner first because it's all my stuff and there's tons of it. And the kitchen next, so I'll be doing those two things for now. Okay, so we'll start with those two things you guys can pack with me. <laughs>
you guys look. <laughs> this is my high school yearbook. This is the year. This is the year I graduated. Okay, quick little stop from my cleaning. But you saw me cleaning my little bookshelf. You know what I have to do? I have to um declutter the declutter these books because what I I usually like to keep the books that I already read, but I should probably just get rid of them already. So I am gonna declutter this tomorrow probably. It'll be one of those things and just keep the books that I haven't read. Oh look. Rosalinda. My maiden name was Quinones. So that's Quinones. Oh my gosh, I love going through the yearbook. Oh my gosh. Let me see if we can find a picture of me. Like <laughs> you guys, I was in Key Club. I think I've said it here before. Key Club is like um social no not, what is it called? Um community service type of club like they do things for others. You look at me, I was the president. Look at me. You guys, look at little baby Rosalinda. Why did I have a poo there? I don't know. That was the, the bell to start the meetings and to end it. Girl, did I have a power trip with that bell? I love banging that bell. Look, I even had a gabble and everything. Look at that. Look at little baby me. I wish it consumed. Look at it. You got a Oh, look at me. I was a captain. My friend Sandrita. Look at me, you guys. That hair. I haven't had a hair like this since high school. Oh, that's me. Look at me running. Uh, oh my gosh, how cute. I used to wear glasses. Uh, started wearing glasses when I was 10, like seeing glasses, but then I got lace. I got LASIK at 25, so best thing that's because don't see me in glasses but isn't that the cutest oh my gosh i hope these girls don't mind if i show them but look at how cute are we look this is the varsity girls look at me look at how tan i was <laughs> love it oh my gosh i love going through the yearbook because there's so many good memories I think high school was fun for me because I did a lot of um, sports and clubs, so it was good. Pero, let's not get sidetracked. But you guys got to see some of young Rosalinda pictures. <laughs> let's get back to work. Okay, so, so far this is going to be my little stash corner. So I left some shoes in there um, because I think, I don't know. No, se van a caer, verdad? Oh, well. Well, this is gonna be like my little stash corner where I'm gonna put the stuff like just there, the boxes and things um, while we're like moving out the stuff. So I think like just to have stuff like in one corner for now to like keep on moving the things because look, if you have them everywhere, I feel like it's such a mess. And um, we're just gonna like just put stuff in the car as well. Like, so we're not getting like more boxes and stuff like that. That's what Ro brought me from work. I should text him to bring me more today so we can have more and just like throw things in there. Just because again, I don't know, I don't, I plan to unpack and start putting the stuff like right away. So things are not gonna be in boxes forever. And then, so my closet girls, is gonna be a challenge. It's gonna be a challenge. And look, I already have so much more mess over there. Oh, I hate seeing so much mess. So I think I'm just gonna continue doing this and um, I'll see you when I see you girl because I don't know, I feel like this is gonna be a couple of days of moving. Hello, I know I'm in different clothes. So it is a different day. You are right, girl. So I think this whole process is just going to be a couple of days just because we have work in between. Yesterday was my sister-in-law's birthday party, so we had that and we weren't able to do much or I wasn't able to do much. So that's why this like packing movie situation is going to be a couple of days. But like I said, I wanna do this video as like, I already give you guys the big news and you guys will help me pack a little bit. I think we're just gonna pack the kitchen together and that's about it. That'll be it for this video. And then the next one will be the empty apartment tour and then we can talk more about what it is and just the whole move me, move me, uh, the whole moving process in general. So 
as you can see i already started taking down some stuff i took all like my nespresso my toaster and my air fryer out by the way i need to get a new air fryer <laughs> and then i took some of that stuff from there so i was just thinking that i because i didn't want to take like all the food but i was like okay what what is it do i need and i mainly just need the pans and i can take the other appliances so I'm, that's or pack up all the other appliances so that's what i'm doing and then i'm gonna take all like my cups and i might just leave like one seasoning and stuff like that so like we can like start taking more of the things you know so you guys would do that with me i just started kind of doing it and then the lunch bag so we're gonna need this so we'll set this one on the side and these are my Tupperware stuff. Mm, this one I kind of often need, so I'm gonna leave this here as well. But this is random stuff. But I can start with all of this and I can start taking these. So you guys will see me do that in super fast. <laughs> my kitchen okay so look this is perfect because i can take the baskets from this little motorcycle like this and this i'm still gonna use to put it here oh my gosh you know what's stressing me out my desk because i still need my desk and i use it a lot so i think this is gonna be the, like the last thing i'm gonna move these i'm taking but I don't know if I'm gonna need them, but I'm just gonna take them just in case. So I'm taking them, but I think most likely I'm gonna be able to get rid of them. So hopefully, I'm definitely not gonna take this. Oh, you can't see it. It's just a random shelf that I had on the top for like extra, you see? Extra, oh, <laughs> extra stuff, like some of my other appliances. So, um, this one I'm gonna get rid of. These again, ooh, I'm taking these. I just don't think I'm gonna need them. I think I might just have one like on top of the stove and maybe they would go to either the closet or the bathroom, either or. So that's what I'm gonna do with those. And then again, it's the morecito with the baskets. Lifesaver, porque me voy a llevar los baskets así. So I'm gonna continue doing this in fast. <laughs> and I got something in my eye and I always freak out whenever I get stuff in my eye I was panicking so I cleaned it out but I took it out look at that clean so fresh and so clean so um I got rid of all look look at that nothing 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 in this corner just my kitchen and so what I left is just this I can never point like that but let me see if I can send you guys up right here it will work a little bit okay so what i left so far is just like this is just the food so it's like my pantry and then obviously the fridge so i'm just gonna leave those two things and that'll be one of the last things to move so i don't think we can go grocery shopping there is some food in there but not a lot and then this since we still kind of use it and i don't want to take the food yet so 
basically that's all i have left for my kitchen and look it's starting to feel real oh look at how proper a room should look an actual room <laughs> but yeah so that's going to be that's going to be it for this vlog about the most important thing just letting you know the big news that we are officially moving you already heard it at the beginning thank you so much for sticking around and packing with me doing some things here and there basically the kitchen is done and then my little corner where i have like my shoes and stuff that little corner is also done so no matter what it is the fridge and the pantry will be the last day Raul definitely has to take that down that TV porque yo no sé cómo, because it's mounted. And then the bed, because I don't want the mattress to get dirty, and the big stuff. So, oh my gosh, the closet. The closet, you guys. The closet is going to be, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about having to tear down the closet, porque, miren. Why is the lighting always so good here? Okay, look. It's a lot. Girl, it's a lot. I still have boxes here. Pero I feel like little by little is coming along. Again, my desk is giving me a little bit of anxiety because it's so much. Pero miren. Ah, like you're starting to see the difference. So again, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you and I will keep on I would thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. And I know we have maybe like two more vlogs about this whole moving thing. So I'm super excited about them. But now you know, we are officially moving. You heard it here first. Thank you so much for hanging around with me and moving and packing with me. I'll see you all in the next vlog. Bye.